Hi there, my name is Dina Falcone, herbalist, educator, author of Foraging and Feasting and Earthly Bodies and Heavenly Hair, and I just released my new online course, wildfoodhealthboosters.com. So what are we going to check out today? What's happening right now that I'm excited about is Field Garlic's Crazy Hairdo. <laughs> it's Field Garlic Allium Vineale of the Aliaceae family. It is in its reproductive stage. It's uh, quote flowering or bulblet stage. So I want to have you come with me into this zone behind me, which is a highly disturbed zone of plant activity. And that's where field garlic loves to grow. So that's another hint where you're going to find this. You're probably already seeing this friend all over the landscape, along roadsides, ditches, fields, gardens, wherever humans are disturbing soil, you're going to see field garlic. But are you going to recognize it right now? Let me show you how to recognize it right now. We do go into this deeply in the, um, in the Wild Food Health Boosters field garlic episode or lesson, and we meet it in its leaf stage. This is its next stage of growth. So come, I want, I want to show it to you. Let's check it out. Actually, wait a second. Why do you want to get to know this plant? Why do you want to key it out at this stage? Because it's offering us these amazing nuggets of flavor, a very potent flavor right now. So this is a wild onion garlic relative that's a worthy wild edible that's going to perk up your menu, that's also going to boost your immune system, that's going to boost the menu. So, okay, I just want to make sure you got that, that these, this is a very worthy plant to get to know. Let's keep moving. Notice the pattern here, the pattern of growth. It's got a, a root bulb down there that we'll pull out for you to see later. And now we come up and we go up along this scape. This is the flower stalk or the stalk of the inflorescence. And here we have this gorgeous flower cluster bud. Can you see that beautiful thing? And then you've got this sheath that wraps around it. It's holding, it's like an onion skin and this little pointy beak and it holds what's to become the bulblets, sometimes the flowers. They sit inside of that. Okay, let me show you the next stage. Here we have the flower bud cluster breaking open. I'm going to twirl it for you so you can see this was that sp that is the spathe that sheath holding the package together in the earlier shot and these are tails that emerge out so you can see these tails and these are bulblets these are all singular little bulblets they all become new plants so this is how the plant reproduces itself and this here are flower buds and these flower buds may or may not open and they may or may not produce seed so you're getting to see the whole package here sometimes you will have no flower buds sometimes you will have very few tails okay let's continue to show you the evolution of field garlic wild hair stage comes next so the tails have just completely emerged out and here we have a wild hair stage a wild hair day stage <laughs> these incredible sculptural field garlic reality and come check out this one over here another really <laughs> pretty wacky one Right there, such long tails. And there are the bulblets. You can see those as well. Here is the cluster of bulblets sprouting all of these crazy hairs. And then if we just slowly rotate, you can see underneath that was the sheath, the spathe that had covered all of this early on. Okay, I'm going to show you something else. By the way, 
you can harvest these tails just by pulling them off like that. And that's scallion chive substitute right there. You can break these heads and use those little bublets straight up just like that. You've got mini garlic onions right there. It's also how the plant makes itself, but these are a little bit immature, so it wouldn't actually reproduce yet, but this is perfect food. Lastly, I want to show you that at this stage, all the energy had ascended up to create this reproductive phase of the plant. And what happens at the bottom, I'm going to just pull this up so you can see, is the energy of the root it has quieted down and these little bulblets are also food so that's food the plant also reproduces by its bottom by its root bulbs um, but at this stage this is really much less um, what would you say juicy you know it's really all the energy has ascended Although this is still good stuff. Yeah, still nice. Nice and juicy. Okay, let me show you something else. So, where are you going to find Allium vineale of the Aliaceae family? This perennial grows all over the world in temperate zones. It's hardy in the USDA zones of five to nine. Where is its native range? Europe, North Africa, Western Asia. Um, and in terms of habitat, where does it like to grow? Remember, ditches, disturbed soil, anthropogenic sites, moist but well-drained soils, gardens, meadows, that sort of thing. Hmm? Now, I wanna just review with you what's going on here again and come on up close so you can just check it out with me. These tails are mini scallions, mini chives. Toss them into food as you would scallions and chives. And these bulblets, these mini garlic onion bulbs can be broken up and sprinkled into food the way that you would use onions or garlic. Um, yeah, so I just, yeah, it's pretty exciting. <laughs> All the bounty that's really out there. Pickle these babies if you like. Make pesto with them. These bulblets are potent. They're super strong flavored, much more so than the leaves. In Wild Food Health Boosters and Herbal Remedies, we go deep into using this plant and we talk about its leaves and we feature it in the herbal salts and in the herbal butters. And I want to suggest that you play with these bulblets and these tails in those recipes. However, you would use less of them because they're so potent. So again, just thinking um, about plugging in the potency you would probably use a quarter to a half of the plant material in this bulblet stage versus its leaves right so other thoughts there again i have to confess that i don't use these because they're so strong flavored i prefer to use the leaves of the field garlic in the herbal salt and in the herbal butters but i'm suggesting and think it would be quite powerful especially if you love strong garlic onion flavor give it a try here's an example of the bulblets broken apart so you can see their beautiful little bulblet shape there you go if you've enjoyed field garlic hairdos as much as i do <laughs> and you want more of this actually if you want to check out my new online course, Wild Food Health Boosters and Herbal Remedies, you will get much more involved with field garlic and its therapeutic qualities and so on. Thanks for joining. May field garlic enter into your life in a full way. Happy day. <laughs>